Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Barely 24 hours after slamming the Yoruba actress being put by the oversex or rule accusation, allegedly, the Yoruba actor Imfabi has sent out a cryptic message about inheriting causes and natural justice. It was just yesterday you shared a photo of Bimpe and attached evidence of their very first conversation many years ago and in the lengthy post he blasted the actress saying that he never offered her or anyone sex for real. And to buttress this point, your mistress that is an adult who has the right to be sexually attracted to another adult provided there is no force or coercion involved. He also added that he has the right to sexual feelings, provided it is within the ambit of the law, and he even went ahead to make claims that Bimpe should be bold enough to call out those she offered sex for rules in the industry to get to wherever she is now, according to him. And in his post today on his Insta story, Yomifa B apparently declared that anyone who aids a pathetic ingrate and pro beneficiary will inherit a course in natural justice and that is why some people find themselves in serious problems in the future. This was exactly what he shared. You have inherited a course in natural justice if you aid and abet a pathetic ingrid and proud beneficiary. More reasons people find themselves in serious problems openly or privately in future that they cannot explain. Their conscience will be the first to arrest them. This was what he shared. Before now, Yomi has referred to Bingwe several times as someone who used him as a ladder to climb in the movie industry. Even though he stated clearly that he did not get to meet her, even when she featured in his movie, they didn't meet physically until about three years later. But then he has constantly referred to her as an ingrate. He wants to destroy the ladder that she used to climb in the movie industry. Bimbo Ibadi joined the movie industry as a mother, learned about an audition during her NYC days in Benin in Edo State. She learned about this on social media. She applied for it and they said they needed a dark-skinned mother. She also sent in a video for this audition. It was not a physical thing. But later on, she was picked and she traveled down to Lagos State. According to some information that has been shared, the title of that movie is Crossroads. It was also, coincidentally, the role that brought Spingley into the limelight. She was very lucky. And she started getting other jobs. And over a short period of time, she became a movie producer herself. Meanwhile, your family has become quite controversial since last year during Baba Jesha's trial, as it was the main person who was standing for Baba Jesha. And so many Nigerians were bashing him that he was a rape apologist. And then many people were saying that he was asking them sex for movie rules. Bimpe also came out that Yomi had frustrated her. In fact, she had almost quit her movie career because of him. And she had accused Yomi of bullying her. On narrating how the actor almost frustrated her out of the movie industry with his constant sexual advances and later threats. She said that Yomi needs to be stopped. Enough is enough. Thank God for his grace. If not, I would have given up on this dream because of his constant harassment, bully, and threats. But Yomi in his defense also came out that time and said that he was not harassing Big Week. He was really weighing her as if someone who liked her. Even in an interview with Sunday School, Yomi Fabi stated that being an actor did not mean that he could not have romantic feelings. In his words, how did she get a major role in one of my movies? She never came to me to learn about movies. She did not do any audition. I had already concluded my audition. He came to me as a fan and I decided to encourage her. He maintained that Bimbo was the only one who wronged him, saying she knows what she did that made me change towards her. I'm an adult and I'm free to be sexually attracted to anybody. At least I'm thankful to God that she never said I forced her. There is nothing that says that she has automatic rules in my movies. I do not know the kind of entitlement she has to think he can always feature in my movies. I will take time to explain what she did. The first thing she did that made me change towards her was that I brought her into the industry in 2015. On the last day of the movie shoot in 2015, she left and I did not set my eyes on her until January 2019. 
in between that she had shot three movies i do not know the kind of relationship she built with my sponsor production manager and cinematographer all i just heard was that she was planning a production behind me what audacity i brought her into the industry because i wanted her to be great and known i wanted her to have a career so why was she caught in corners at the end of the day she called to tell me that she had a job for me i told her that the person she gave the job she knew him through me because he was my production manager. That was why I called that person off from my production forever. She hijacked all my bank bones without consulting me. If she had asked me, I would have not stopped her. Why are you stealing what is yours? Several other things transpired, but she can continue to tie it around the fact that she did not give in to my sexual advances. The actor also noted that sexual attraction was different from sexual harassment. He asked, Ask her if she made sexual advances to me and not vice versa. I did not notice her first. She was the one that noticed me. Besides, if we did make advances at each other, we are both adults. The most important thing is that there was no force. Do not make it look like, because I'm an actor, I do not have the right to have emotions or sexual feelings. Sexual attraction is different from sexual harassment. We need to educate these young people. We are talking about sexual harassment. And she is talking about toasting. Is that not silly? This was what she reviewed in that interview. Well, some days ago, during a question and answer session on Instagram, Bingbe's Instagram, a fan had asked her to clarify exactly what happened between herself and Yomifabi. And Bingbe stated clearly that it was not the issue of sexual rules. However, it was an issue of it's either their friends or their enemies, and she had to choose one. She never said that it was sexual rule per se. She had mentioned sexual harassment. However, Yomifabi called her out yesterday and claimed that she had accused him of sexual rules and also coming out again today and sending out a cryptic message about inheriting causes and natural justice. It's also known for movies like Uluwe, Tranquility, Silence Cry, Delusion, Irapada, Debepomo, Barbecue, Oni, Secret of Man, Shadows, Imofe, Assurance, Uluwe, just to mention a few of them. And as Ellie mentioned, she's also a movie producer now. Who has about six movies to her own credits, including the movies Adibi and Promoba, The Cookers, Dear Sisters, Entrapped, 0707, A Day to Remember. And she's still a model to this day. She's a commercial model and an entrepreneur. She's married to the star actor, Latifa Ditola Dimitri. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.